What does an F1 race car and your marketing have in common? Well, the one I saw today at the NRA show had no gas. And let's talk about how a lot of the marketing campaigns out there right now don't have any gas either, which is going to lead you to nowhere. My goal is to help to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 610. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and I am fresh off a trip to Chi-Town up in Chicago for the National Restaurant Association show. I was there with my guy, Doug Smith, Shaheen Kazemi, Connor Irwin, and my son, Cole Plapp. As we're walking around the show, we couldn't help but notice something very disappointing and at the same time exciting. But let me tell you a little story first. We're standing at the Red Bull booth and my son Cole looks at me and says, Dad, there's got to be a video right here. And I'm looking at the Red Bull F1 car And I'm thinking about the 10 million plus views my videos have gotten from me talking about how Red Bull could teach restaurants or thing or two about marketing on social media, how they are using the platform. And then it hit me. That car is in this convention center and it has no gas because it wouldn't be allowed in there if it did. I know this from doing trade shows. And it also got me thinking about the Thousands of booths we walked by at the show. Countless point of sale companies. Marketing softwares. Loyalty programs. And not one of them was talking about customer acquisition. I'm in the process right now of redefining our marketing platform, Repeat Return, and what it's going to become come July. Exciting announcement coming your way with a brand new name change and advancements in it. But we're redefining four core marketing funnels and then what we call four sub-marketing funnels. The four core funnels are your customer acquisition funnels, your new customers, your frequent customers, your lost customers, and your loyalty customers. The ones below that are your birthday, your catering, your unique one-off funnels, and then your charity funnel. But let's talk about those top four funnels, new, frequent, lost, and loyalty. If you're not on a consistent basis, adding new customers' data to your email and text marketing programs, how are you ever going to have people to walk in the restaurant for the first time that have been nurtured? If you are consistently gathering the data from your frequent customers inside your four walls, the ones that are coming in every Friday night and buying food that you don't know who the hell they are. If you're not consistently getting their information, how are you ever going to expect to nurture them for your potential loyalty program? And then if you don't have a win back program to identify the people who haven't come in in a while or stopped coming in, how in the hell do you expect to win them back. And last but not least, that loyalty one I mentioned. Loyalty programs are great. Repeat Returns has an amazing one within the platform. But the problem is it doesn't do shit if there's nobody in it. And what happens with loyalty programs especially is you got your early adopters, your hardcore customers, the ones at the bar every damn week, the one that come in early for happy hour. Those are the ones that join the first couple months. Your team is excited the first couple months, and then month four, five, and six and on, it's a ghost town, it's crickets. Well, at the NRA show, what was disappointing was the fact that nobody's talking about acquisition. That Red Bull F1 car ain't going nowhere without gas. It's equivalent to the broke down car we just passed coming back from Chicago. Ain't got no damn gas, ain't going anywhere. Doesn't matter if it's an F1 or a Honda Civic. Your loyalty program, whether it's the best loyalty program or the worst one, it ain't doing shit if it's got no gas. So what excites me also is the fact that what we're doing with our company, with what AmericasBestRestaurants.com and all the products underneath there are becoming, with what repeat returns and restaurant marketing that works, our other two entities are becoming this summer, is the fact that we are building the restaurants first 
customer acquisition program that helps you acquire customers at every point of your business and strategically drive sales every single day. So for all you restaurant owners out there, it is great to have marketing in place, but you gotta have marketing in place to fuel that marketing. That's all I got. Talk to you tomorrow. Break time. I need a huge favor. Go to theheroesofhospitality.com and check out our brand new docu-series for 2024. We're creating eight episodes to chronicle the journey of our business. We're going to be traveling the country, telling your stories as it relates to growing your restaurant's marketing. And you're going to be able to see behind the curtain of what we're building, why we're building it, and how it will benefit the restaurant industry as a whole. So as you know, I don't charge for my content. We don't have sponsors. We don't have product placement in here. But what I want your help with is spreading the word. If you're finding value here, do me a favor. Share this on your social media. Share an episode with something that made sense to you, that's relevant to your restaurant, that you got value from, and tag Matt Plapp and America's Best Restaurants. Also, go to America's Best Restaurants on Facebook and on Google and leave us a review. Let us know the impact we've had on your restaurant with our roadshow, with our marketing help, or with our podcast. And last but not least, if you want to take the next step and help me out a lot and help us out a lot, text me a testimonial, 859-743-2408. That's my cell. A selfie video would be awesome about the impact this content or our company is having on your independent restaurant. But worst case scenario, just a few kind words. The way we can help lift this industry up is to help get content like this to more independent restaurant owners, and you are the key to spreading the word. I appreciate your support. Have an amazing day.